David Sherwood here from NITOR. Today we're going to talk about the TOR pathway, which is my favorite topic. I've been studying it for about six years with my PhD work. It's a very complex pathway, as you can see on our picture on the laptop. Um, there's a lot of detail in this pathway, but we're going to break it down to what's important for you to know so you can modify what you do to activate your muscle growth. So TOR um, is a kinase. It's a, it's a protein or an enzyme that sends a signal to tell your cells to build muscle. To turn it on, we know that we need to exercise. So you get in a good hard workout and you're going to stimulate TOR to send the signal to build muscle. But if you don't eat, what happens? TOR will get stressed, and we'll talk about this in more detail later, and it'll have to shut off muscle growth. That's why it's also important to eat. Now it seems like a, a dumb moment for you, like no brainer but there's more detail to it. So when you exercise and you eat food, say you get a slow release protein, so you can sleep through the night and have a constant supply of protein available, you'll stimulate TOR about 33%. Not very, very good, it's not optimal. If you want to maximize TOR activation to increase muscle building, you can triple your muscle growth rate um, using NITOR protein because it maximally stimulates TOR. Now, if you take one shake of protein after you work out, and then you don't have another shake of protein for 12 hours later, um, TOR will actually get stressed and will shut down muscle growth. That's why it's important to have repeated doses, dosages of protein and other nutrients, food, on a regular basis to keep TOR active. It'll actually, in a well-trained individual who's working out regularly, egg workout can stimulate muscle growth at that 100% rate for more than 36 hours, peaking right around 12 to 24 hours. If you took one sh protein shake and it's a slow release protein, this will shut off within two, with two to four hours and you'll stop muscle growth. So if you can envision having repeated dosage, maximally stimulating muscle growth for 36 hours, you can get a lot faster recovery and a lot faster strength gains. Okay, so let's talk about this food source because this is important in activating the TOR pathway. Because if you're deficient in protein, such as amino acids, if you remember that one pink amino acid um, that limited the availability of all your proteins so you end up peeing the rest of it out, um, that actually creates stress and shuts down TOR. If you're deficient in any of the other building blocks, minerals, vitamins, carbs, and fats, it'll do that. This is actually called the Endoplasmic Reticulum Quality Control System, which is involved in folding proteins after they're made so that they can be transported to the right spot to make muscle. And if you are deficient in anything you, you need, it will then create a stress signal by, you know, calcium is released from the endoplasmic reticulum and it overstimulates the mitochondria to spit off reactive oxygen species like superoxide, which get converted into hydrogen peroxide. And hydrogen peroxide will react with a disulfide bridge on TOR. It'll shut down the gatekeeper portion of the kinase, and that shuts down muscle growth. So you want to minimize any kind of stress on your cells so that you can keep TOR maximally active, right, to build your muscle. Um, we'll get into a lot more detail about one of these vitamins, CoQ10, and why it's so important to prevent the stress signal that would shut down TOR. But that's, that's the TOR pathway in a nutshell, and I hope you can see the, the beauty of maximally building your muscle for a good 36 hours or more with it.